What's up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here, back with more OBS not fitting screen to size, no matter how much I tell it to do it, no matter how hard I try and save those settings. Whatever it happens, it's probably gonna happen for the rest of the series, sorry. Um, so, like I expected, the last part out came, last part came out super duper loud, um, because I just kind of did it. I was like, I was getting annoyed with, um, with how it wasn't coming out loud enough the first few three videos, so, um, I adjusted it again. Hopefully it won't be monstrously loud, but hopefully it also won't be quiet. I don't know, because, like, I don't know what made it quiet the first time. So I'm not sure, like, if I adjust it too much, if it's going to just end up super quiet. For all I know, when I upload that video, it might come out not super loud. But anyway. So we're going to start the next part here of Hippopotamus 64. We're going, um, we're going underground again. And again, like last time, we can actually explore a little bit down here. Unlike last time, though, we can really explore down here. This one's, uh, this one's going to be significantly larger area than the, the, the second one we went to. Can't get up there yet. But, we can go over here. New enemy. These enemies are interesting and in they always drop a really, well not always, but they almost always drop that really large refractor shard. Uh, it's always like when I see him because it's basically just like free money. I think there's a hole somewhere over here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pay attention. I'm not really good at it. There are some parts down here I want to get to for a new weapon, a new item development um, that I'm going to want going into the next area. So now we have these things. These things don't make any sense. Like, I don't even, like, why do these exist in this game? <laughs> just, whatever. You can't destroy them, you just have to run past them. You run into them and take a lot of damage. They damage enemies too, which is weird. Oh, it's this area. Okay. So... There he is. So now we have this guy. Um, he'll just chase you um, if you if you run away from him. But if you stay in this one wider area, you can actually he'll actually stay still. Otherwise, he'll just keep running nonstop, slamming his arms, causing explosions. He has a ton of health, um, but it is actually possible to kill him. When I first where are you going? when I first played this game, I wasn't actually sure if it was possible to kill him because I was so weak. Um, and, like I said, he has a ton of health. He has way more health than the bosses we've fought so far. Um, but it is very much possible to kill him, and he drops a lot of money. Um, he also does respawn, in case you ever want to kill him again later. Uh, there we go, I got him. Oh. See, look at that. Look at that. Money. Money, 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 money. I missed him, but anyway. Um... I always make it a point to kill him when I come down here. Usually after this, I skip him, though. And then these things, these blocks, always drop health and money, and sometimes it's a lot of money, sometimes it's not. Anyway. Not really much else to this room, either. Um, if you if you run towards the door originally, he will come out from right here, because he's waiting right here, if I remember correctly. Um, and he'll chase you... Um, Basically in a circle. Not really a big deal. He's actually not that fast. Oh god! I'm just gonna let this guy walk into his death. He's dead. Oh, he's not dead. I only got hit once. Now he's dead. Oh god. Eh, let's kill that guy. I just heard something get hit. I think that explosion hit the, uh, those, uh, moving giant spinning tops, those Beyblades, um, on the other side of the wall. 
Ah, I hate this room. I don't like having to fight like a bunch of these at once. I'm just gonna like. To make things a little easier on myself. anymore. And you can already see the advantage of the of the, uh, the flag jacket I bought. I haven't actually, I've gotten hit a couple times, but I haven't actually taken any damage. That's because the uh, the flag jacket reduces my damage to the point where my shield can just take it, and then since my shield isn't breaking, uh, I'm not taking any damage. Oh man, why did some of it have to drop over there? Get a lot of money out of that. It doesn't matter. Go this way. This is the room I think it is. Yeah, this is the room I think it is. Okay. Not a lot of actual enemies in this room, but um, where is it? There is. There it is. There are holes to pay, to pay attention for. Old shield. Uh, not really useful, but it's for a weapon later that I probably won't ever use. There's not a lot of weapons in the game I actually really like. Ignore you guys. Sorry. So now we're back in the room we started in. You can tell that was that one's control unit because its head is spinning like crazy. Buster unit. Uh, I, can I just equip that? Yeah, I can. That one. Was, that was really full cool money right there. This, I should have enough money to buy the last health piece, too. And now do you recognize where we are, guys? No? Well, okay. We're back in the original- Oh, I never showed you guys this! Sorry. Um, that's all on me. Sorry, guys. Um, unfortunately, we can't get to the... Um... Oh, I forgot about this one. Is this one trapped? I think this one's trapped. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get to the other side, because uh, there's some cool stuff over there. This is where we came out of. Um, but anyway, uh, I never showed you guys this. I came in here while I was playing um, to grind some money. This is the first uh, underground area. The one that, the one where I like didn't go through the front, the first door just because, like, eh, there's nothing in there. This is all we can really get to. Um, there's this, this big empty area, and an area over here that's sealed off with a wall. That we can obviously see there's stuff on the other side, but we can't get through yet. And if we come this way, uh, looks like we're yeah, we're back out where we started. Let's see what this guy says. I'm a freelance digger. I tried digging a little around here, but didn't find nothing. You didn't look hard enough, bro. I found some stuff. So yeah, the um, one of the better aspects of this game, one of the more RPG-esque aspects of this game, is NPCs move around and stuff like that as the story progresses. Um, it's a thing I feel like not a lot of games did enough of back in the day, especially back in the N64, PS1 days. I really just felt like a lot of NPCs were just sort of static. They stayed exactly where they were, said it, the same thing they always said for the entirety of the game. Let's see if I can make anything. Nope. I didn't think so. There's something else I need for the two item, the two next weapons I'm going to be able to make. Um, I'm not going to bother refilling my energy. It's not a big deal that I don't have any more machine gun. I'm not going to be using too much of it. 
I actually had a hard time finding this area when I was a kid. I did not know there was a, uh, an area back here. I had nowhere to, no idea where to go after I, um, I got the Class A digging license. I was like, what, what, where, where do I go? What, what, is there more to this? I was looking for mushrooms on the other side of the passage when a tank rolled up out of nowhere. I'm getting out of here. Damn, you run quick, lady. Got some hustle on that muscle. So yeah, this area is being besieged by the pirates. So if we move forward. I've come to back you up, Mega Man. I may not be able to do much, but if you get in trouble, get inside the car, okay? I'll get you back to safety. Be careful, she's not a very good driver. She can hit you. We just started. Oh god. Oh god. The car has a limited amount of HP, uh, which should be noted. Because um, the car can take damage, and if it takes too much damage, it's like, I have to leave. Which, you actually need the car to get all the way to the end here. What's funny is one time I had the serve bot run in front of the the, uh, the car too and get hit. So anyway, with, with that we're actually done. There's no like ending sequence for this. It's just you enter. This is one of the only pre-render scenes right here, and it's only this. Once we leave, now we're back into uh, in engine render. Alright, so welcome to the first, um, sub, I can't remember what it's called, sub tower? Um. Can you hear me, Mega Man? I'm picking up high energy readings from close by. It looks like it's a refractor. And a big one, too. Is the refractor shielded? Most high level refractors are protected in some kind of shield. You'll have to look for the control console and deactivate the shield. I could. Mega. Oh god, I actually have to. I forgot. She won't let me leave unless I. But thou must. Okay, so anyway, she just says there's some keys you need to find. Which I'm going to find. So this is the gimmick to the, uh, the dungeons in this game. Uh, the refractor is usually right there in front of you, but you have to find keys in order to actually, um, to actually get to it. Kill this from afar. Oh, I can't hit it. These nests, uh, house a bunch of these enemies and also a ton of money. Oh god. Oh god, don't fall down. Trust me on this one, just don't fall down. I'll go down there eventually, but not right now. There's these assholes down there. I don't like dealing with them. They can turn invisible for reasons that aren't fully explained. There's the first key right there. Money! No! I missed the money! Did you find anything? I'm picking up a faint signal. That must be the starter key. Keep looking. There's probably a few more lying around somewhere. 
can, however, make this jump. They'll individually come out if you get close to it, and they, the number is actually, like, much greater. I want this money. Like, I don't care about anything else. Can take me all you Anyway. Oh, I fell Oh, God. These things do a lot of damage. I just don't want to deal with these guys. Anyway. Uh, we do have to come down here eventually, though. There are some holes walls to find. I can't remember where they are. I think one's over towards the door, actually. Oh, God! Stay away from me. Like, I believe it's over this way. I know. There it is. on the wall? Maybe. Not sure. No, don't notice me. Notice me! No! Oh, Shoutouts to the truck that's driving by my house right now. Oh god, there's two of you. Can we do this in a different way? Like, perhaps where you stay the hell away from me. I got a lot of health too, is the other problem. No! I don't want to be your friends. We are not buddies. Why will you not get the fuck away from me? One of them's dead. Money! Money is more important in my life. Okay. We in there. How much money do I have? 35, not bad gonna disappear pretty quick, trust me. Um, luckily, there are much better ways to make money than the, um, than kicking the can that we'll gain access to, uh, pretty soon, actually. Um, there's some, there, there's, there's two more ways to make money that I tend to abuse. Uh, one that's coming up pretty soon and one towards the end of the game. And they're both pretty good. The one coming up soon is good for the amount of money you're gonna need in, you know, the middle half, middle part of the game. I was to say middle half. You know, the, the second of the three halves. Um, and then the late game one is really good for making money. The late game part of the game, so. Um, here we have these things. These are like the, uh... Like the airborne version of those little enemies on the ground that just explode when you get near them. Um, man, these ones do a lot of damage stuff. Holy shit. Owie. I'm almost dead. Doesn't really matter. Hit switch. It's a hole in the wall. Found an old doll. Don't see anything inside. God damn it! Move. Turn around. There we go. Jesus, what are you doing, Mega Man? Standing there like an artard. Grenade kit. That's for another weapon. That's actually Remember not that bad. Remember the first time you went on a dig, Mega Man? I wasn't used to being a spotter, and you ended up getting lost underground for three days. <laughs> Remember? We were lucky that Gramps came to help us. I don't know what I would have done if he hadn't been there. So, these platforms disappear when you stand on them, obviously. Well, they crack the glass platform, platforms. We're going to skip that treasure chest for a second and go over here. I missed this Doesn't for so like long. Any big Weaver bots here. My old TV, when I first played this game, was super dark, and I did not notice that hole. Spring set! That's awesome. I'm gonna very need that. I think I might have missed a piece now that I think about it. Or an item that I could have gotten by now. Wrong. I did this wrong. 
Yeah, it's wrong. Hold on, I'm gonna leave. I actually don't even know what the, like, the, the pattern to this is. Like, I don't understand how the puzzle works. I just, like, I memorized the, the answer to it when I was young, and I was like, whatever. I think it's actually just... That's right, it's just a matter of hitting the three of them quickly. GTFO, no, okay, thanks, bye. Oh, that's right, I haven't gone down there yet, but don't worry about that. Um, that's where we're going to end up. That's going to be the end of uh, our little trip here. This way. Oh, right, the enemies stay dead over here. I forgot about that. I didn't actually have to worry about those enemies. I think these ones might respawn, though. Nope, none of them respawn. Okay, that's cool. So if we come over this way... And now, what we're gonna do is... Actually walk on this platform now. And it'll drop that thing down. I don't think there's anything to get over here. I don't think there's any holes to look in or anything. Oh, right. I forgot, we have to hit this switch to open doors. Or not. Oh, no. The doors just open automatically. It didn't actually get stuck. That's what it looks like, yeah. Doesn't look very compact to me. And with that, we get That's the third it. key. Now you should be able to access the console. That stops her from talking. Yay, money. You can actually jump up from here too now. Like if you want to go back. Not that you have a reason to. Just saying, you can. Right. There's gonna be a hole right next to me. Did I get I got that one, right? Yeah, I got that. So anyways. Uh oh! Right. I don't know where I'm going. I get distracted and lost easily. Head back this way. Dude, this music though, like... This music is way more dramatic than the stuff that's actually happening. Oh, you can also walk into this and get hit. Just in case. you do? Uh, let's do nothing. Or we can lower the shield. I don't know why it gives you the option. This is... I don't know why it makes Mega Man take his helmet off for these scenes. <laughs> the scene is so weird. If you didn't hear him, he said nothing's happening, because nothing happened. We just get the refractor shard, or the refractor, and we leave. That's how that works. That's 
That is not always how it's going to work, mind you, but that's how it works. And look at that. Uh, our armor got lighter. Not sure why, but it did. It uses power all sorts of things. Well, it's a little small to fix flutter, but I wonder what we can use it for. Let's think of something we can do with it. Uh, let's ride it like a magic carpet. That's something we can do. So, the important thing is, grenade, oh, who cares about this? Any kit was used to make grenade arm special weapons, arm and weapon, shoots grenade bombs. On this wall, will bounce off, so be careful. Springs that was used to make spring jump, or jump springs. This is the important thing. Springs that increase your jump power. Now you'll be able to get to all sorts of places you weren't able to before. Make sure you put them on, okay? second there guys so anyway with that I don't think we have to equip them but let me, let me make sure yeah, we do have to equip them actually I don't know why you'd ever want to not equip them but with that we can jump super high isn't that great I love that Whee! look at me go I jump so high um, but with that we can actually access uh, quite a few areas we couldn't before uh, so we're, we'll be doing that in the next part, um, going back underground, getting some items we couldn't before. Um, but like I said, that's going to be for the next part. Actually, um, we'll start by checking out that ledge that's right at the beginning of the, um, the first subgate over here. That's what they're called, subgates, I remember now. Um, and we'll go for there. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Pink Reaper, signing out.